Alright, welcome back to another video. Uh, first off, thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers. I didn't address this in the last video, but thanks for 100 subscribers. I really appreciate it. And uh, we're almost at 700 followers on my Instagram, so make sure you go follow it. The link is in the description. So today we're going to be taking apart this old baseball glove. Um, it's mostly going to be a time lapse because I'm going to time lapse what I take apart. But I'm going to uh, stop after every part that I take off. Um, so we got a stitch cutter, pliers, and um, scissors. So we're going to use to take this glove apart, so let's get started. Alright, so I've removed uh, most of the top list. There's just this here in the web. And then I also did the heel. So now I'm going to try and do the web and take the one apart. Alright, so I got the web off. I kind of took the easy way out and just snipped all the laces. I still can't get a few out, but that's okay. Here's what the web looks like, and surprisingly, there isn't actually lace inside of the, uh, the dual hinge web. Dual hinge. Um, it's actually just leather, it looks like. Unless there's lace inside the leather. No, okay. This looks like it's leather, which is pretty cool. There's still the lace up here. Um, but that's not my biggest worry right now, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, and then one, I think once we cut this part open, this slice right here and these, um, we'll be able to actually get inside the glove and see what's inside the glove. So we're almost there, so let's... Alright, so, uh, I just cut them all, and now we can see the inside of the palm. Um, I think we can get in now, so let's go ahead and take it apart. Alright, it's the next day, uh, we're going to finish this glove up, so here we go. Alright, we completed the part that takes the longest, so we finally got the inserts out. Um, this one is the pinky right here, and this one is the thumb. It's made out of like that same te uh, like texture or like carpet that you see in like elementary school. And stuff. Yeah, it's just, it's multi-layered. There's layers of stitching. But I don't think there's actually any like plastic insert, because I did this with another glove another one from like Goodwill, um, and I found like plastic inserts, but this time it's just foam, or the, whatever you want to call this, probably has asbestos in it, um, now I'm going to take out the lining, and then there's also where the finger inserts, there's more, so I'm going to do that now. Alright, so now I got the finger saws out. Um, they're a little bit ripped, but that's because of the I ripped the stitching here. Uh, but it's the same material as the inserts. It's like this, I don't even know, wool, foam, it's double layered. 
probably shouldn't be bringing this in. Um, I also found where the Wilson patch is. I'm gonna try my best to like keep this 100% intact. So they're pretty cool. Um, but yeah, let's take the finger into a tap. I was able to remove the hand saw. Um, I had to cut the leather because it was stitched into the binding, and this binding is like plastic, so I wasn't gonna try and unstitch it. So I just cut the leather out. And here's what the hand stalls look like on this glove. So that's what it looks like with the padding, and this is how big the actual hand stalls are. My fingers almost go to the top of it. My fingers are about right here, there, and there. So, um, and then the pinky one is right there. So, let me show you what it would look like. In the glove, it would look something like that. Um, but other than that, this is in okay condition. I just cut up the back a little bit. But, um, that's what they look like. So, now I'm going to try and take out the Wilson logo right here. And uh, I'll show you what this is. Because now it's just, this is just the point. That's... A little dusty. But this is what it looks like now. There's no, uh, inserts. There's just a little... This is where the well pin meets inside, and that's where the stalls begin. I'm going to try and take out the Wilson logo and try and keep it in one piece. Alright, so I was able to get the little Wilson patch out. It's pretty cool. Uh, the leather part did fall off though because it is stitched on, so it just like slid out. But I could probably glue it together, or I can just keep this as a little flag or whatever. Um, but now I'll just show you what the glove or what the glove pieces look like now. So this is the glove. There's only a few uh, pieces of lace left in it. Look at this thing. Super floppy. I mean, obviously, there's just leather in there. Uh, here's what the hand stalls look like. Pretty cool. Um, web. I didn't dig apart the web, but as I said earlier, it's a dual hinge, but it doesn't have lace in it. Because I think normally there's lace in the dual hinge. Um, so, and then here is the inserts in the pinky and thumb. And I took off this little um, Velcro part of the glove. It was on the wrist. Took this off. I can glue the Velcro back on and it can be a little Velcro. Um, here are the pinky and thumb loops. And go like that. And it goes out in the glove. Um, these are pretty cool because they're still like perfectly intact. And then I'll make a pile of the lace to show you guys. Alright, and lastly, here is all the lace that I cut out. And then there is the gloves. So that's all the lace that I cut out. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.